to Kitchen Connoisseur. Today we're going to be preparing um, a stuffed chicken breast and we're stuffing it with some um, spinach and with a, a bit of all these other bits that are there and then we're wrapping it in grey bacon. So for this you'll need some chicken breast which I used my wonderful tool here and I bashed it up. Um, just so that we could have an even texture and have it even all the way through so you didn't have some bits thicker and some bits smaller. So if I show you here, you can see that the breast, the chicken breasts are roughly one size and it's because we use the meat tenderizer to do that. Um, I've got some um, spinach in here. I've chopped up, it's about 100 grams of spinach. I've chopped up about a small, um, a small red uh, bell pepper. I've got um, some seasoning, some herbs here, fresh herbs. I love fresh herbs, I've got dill, and I've got some thyme. I've got garlic, which we're going to crush in a minute. And then in here, I've got a whole avocado that's been chopped up, and this is the bacon we're going to be using to wrap this, um, to wrap the, the um, chicken in. So now to start us off, I'm just going to take one at a time of the, um, of these chicken breasts and I covered them with clean film so that I could just separate them and it just makes it easier to work with. So the first thing I'll do is I'll season the chicken breast. As you all know the chicken breast is fairly bland, very very bland. So I'll do one at a time because I want to make sure that um, it's well seasoned. So I've got some seasoning here that I'm going to put over here and the main thing is to try and pack this with flavor with as much flavor as possible. I use pink salt to cook, uh, pink Himalayan salt and um, so I'm going to be starting off by just putting a little bit of the, Him the pink Himalayan salt um, and I'm, not, I'm just going to do the top bit. Just put very little salt. Remember, we're going to be wrapping this in bacon and bacon is quite salty. So that will come through all the way through, right? So I'm putting some um, brown black pepper in there. I'm going to use, i um, been very lazy. I'm using some garlic, some powdered garlic. So these are garlic granules, I'm going to use that. I'm also using just a little bit of ginger, just a little bit, just to give it that extra vava boom. And then I'm putting in here just some um, chili powder, so some red chili powder, just putting that in there. And then you just massage it, massage that and rub that into the chicken so that it's really in the chicken. Right. So you massage it and make sure that it's all the way through and it's a nice base for the chicken. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, mix. We're now going to mix and prepare our mixture for the middle. I'll just take this over here so that um, you can see how it works. So for our filling, we're going to work with the spinach. We're going to work with the spinach and with the spinach I'm going to put um, all the avocado in. Normally other um, uh, recipes will suggest that you use cream cheese. I've opted to use the avocado because I didn't want to um, use dairy. I just thought to give the dairy a miss and try something equally healthy which is um, avocado so you mash that avocado in it's not going to be as creamy as the cream cheese but still it does give a bit of, of that you mash it with the fork and um, you also um, take some cloves of garlic I'm going to put them in the garlic crusher and I'm going to crush some garlic in again it's just improving the flavor profile you don't want too much garlic otherwise it overpowers it but you just want enough just to get into that chicken and really sort of make sure that that chicken is not bland I'm going to take another little clove and crush it again let's use my little contraption to crush that there 
all done in. Right. All done. And then I'm going to um, put all the herbs in here. Put the herbs in there. I'm going to leave the thyme. You'll see what I'll do with the thyme in a minute. But I'm going to put all the dill in there. I'm putting the peppers in as well. This is going to be our stuffing mixture. Um, I'm also putting um, some grated vegetarian cheese. This is grated vegetarian cheese. So I'm just going to, you know, eyeball it and just put a handful in there. So we've just got a little bit. And I'm going to mix our make sure right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this first and then I'm just going to um, make sure that I bring it back up and of course I had said I have not haven't done anything with my time so what I'll do with the time is I will just make sure that we add this time um, onto this just a little bit of time we're not going to do a lot because this is fresh time and time is quite strong let's make sure we get rid of the stalks um, so we get rid of the stalks and we make sure We've got that time there, just as the base for the flavor. Right now, if you notice, when you work with the mixture is ready now, it's been prepared, it's ready for us to use, and we're going to be putting it in to um, our chicken and creating our stuffed parcels. So um, remember to make sure that it's well seasoned. You've seasoned it. I'm going to put in some chili flakes because I do like chili. So I'm going to put, a, put in just a few chili flakes. And while I'm doing that, I'm using a chili infused olive oil. I just wanted a bit of color and just a, a bit of the chili flavor. So I'm eyeballing it. I've got about two tablespoons of chili, of um, the chili infused olive oil there over medium heat. And I'm putting it in there. I've got um, the oven has been preheated already. So I've got a lined tray in the oven preheated. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare um, my stuffed um, chicken. So what I'll do is I'll put a generous portion of the stuffed chicken this end of the stuffed stuffing in here that's our spinach in there a nice generous portion of it right here you don't want to put too much because what too much does is that um, it stops um, the it pops out and it doesn't cook very well so you want to make sure that you've just put just about enough not too too much okay so that's what you're going to do and then to finish this off you're going to put some parmesan grated parmesan you just put a little bit of the grated parmesan and I put it all over the fillets the chicken fillets so now what we're going to do is carefully just roll this over and make sure that um, it rolls over that we stuff this parcel very well so that nothing is protruding and we get rid of everything else 
and then try and cover this with our nice streaky bacon so make sure your bacon is nice and flat and you can cover it with that bacon make sure the bacon covers it and covers it very well you have to use a few of these bacon pieces to do now is we're just going to put this in into an oven and just into a, a tr into a, the hot pan and just cook it over the hot pan Stop. so we are putting it gently into the hot pan and we're going to let this cook for a minute or so we just want it to have a bit of coating and after it cooks for a minute or two we're going to turn we're turning it after a minute or two and then we're going to put this parcel in the oven so we are putting it gently into the hot pan and we're going to let this cook for a minute or so we just want it to have a bit of coating and after it cooks for a minute or two we're going to turn we're turning it after a minute or two and then we're going to put this parcel in the oven the um, oven tray um, so that they couldn't get stuck and we're going to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes see you later